Welcome back, everyone, to Country Living Cooking with Salad Master. Join Wilda and Bianca as they prepare a vegetarian-friendly recipe, zucchini squash spaghetti. This will be topped off with a cleansing juice, and we encourage you to stay till the end of the video for the complete recipes and ingredients. Hello. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Today, to start us off with our zucchini squash spaghetti, we're going to start by grating our zucchini and our squash. We're going to use corn number two. I have two. to remember all the corn. Two, three, five. <laughs> I think is what we've used so far. So yeah. Good. So we're going to use corn number two, which is a stringer, and it will give us that uh, spaghetti uh, look. For your spaghetti, you have to hold the whole yeah, so of the spaghetti all yes. around. And as you can Perfect see, spaghetti. It is doing your spaghetti you string all the spaghetti so you don't it have to perfect. go to the store and and buy and buy pasta the so. spaghetti that has already been made because the small little bag is yeah. even like five dollars the vegetable spaghetti which is yeah, very expensive very, at the whole yes. food store and it's not very fresh so and it's is, not very fresh so this one you're making it actually fresh and no peeling right and no peeling, no peeling. Okay. so the spaghetti you don't peel So this All is right, and then I will get my squash. My squash. And so, and and right now this is great because a lot of zucchini and squash are very much in season right now. Yeah, and they're nice big ones now, not the little shriveled ones. So we this got a good squash really good. And stuff everywhere. So. Yes. No excuse, guys, and your kiddos. Now your kiddos can eat this. <laughs> we'll actually love it. Yes. It's really going all the way to to the end, actually. So it's and it's got a good blend. I yes, think if you see a, a it, it's got a good it. yeah, it's got a good blend where it mixes the colors up beautifully, like the greens and the yellows and everything. So it. All right, now that we have finished grating our zucchini and our squash, I'm going to head over to my um, electric oil core and we are going to make our spaghetti. Whoa, we cut that in what? Two, a minute? Yeah, less than a minute. Less than a minute. By 15 minutes, it, 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 the food will be done actually just for today. While it's cooking, we'll make our juice for the day and we are done with a perfect, well uh, balanced food. All right. We're going to fry our spaghetti. Our electric oil core has already been preheated. As you can see, no oil. So we'll start with our... So how many degrees are we using? Just 458. 450. 450. To, to put it on. So that you can fry the... The onions. And... I have my onions and my garlic. So I'm going to... And then you can see, you see the oil that I put mm -hmm. out of the garlic out yeah, of the onion. Yeah, I can see that. Ooh, that smells good. And the, the garlic is not like, I know other like regular pots, um, you get where the garlic starts to burn yes. before the onion. Before the onion. But this is like cooking evenly out. So yes. it's, so just so you don't really have to stagger um, putting the onions and then wait for so it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, next for my protein, since this is a vegetarian, a vegetarian uh, meal that you're cooking today, I'm going to use some walnuts. You can see some walnuts, which are good for your protein. So if you just use them whole, you don't crush. Do you crush them extra or if you want whole you can do mm -hmm. you can do whole. Yeah. And for those who don't eat nuts and you have other people in the house that eat nuts, some don't eat nuts, you can actually fry uh, the walnuts on the side and once okay. you and put on the table okay. and they can just add for themselves. Right. Here we don't have anyone who is allergic to nuts to nuts, so I added the nuts on there. Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to add my seasoning. 
Okay, and so which one is this that we're putting first? This is the garam masala. Garam masala. Okay. And then I will add. So then garam masala is a very popular Indian spice. Yes, and some curry yeah. powder. It's also um, Indian mm -hmm. and also some few Indian African Jamaican. countries yeah. and Jamaicans are used there. So I'll put some curry powder mm -hmm. and I'll put my paprika. Smell it. Yeah, oh, smell it. it smells. Ooh. And then I'll use for my sauce. I'll do the Creole. Okay. And this Creole is this a Creole by Tony Shaffery? Yes. Okay. So it's Tony Shaffery Creole. Perfect. Ooh. Mmm. It smells great. And I like this, like she usually cooks and most of the time, actually, almost 90% of the time there's no salt used, right? Yeah. Because it just pulls out the natural salts from the food, which is good. I've never, I've, I've eaten when we cook and I don't need, feel the need to add any salt on the food. All right, next I'll add my green onion. Very colorful. Some people think that you can only use maybe only one type of onion in cooking, but yeah. I see you pair up. Uh, I pair up pair my, up. my green yeah. onions and my red onions. They mm -hmm. give a very good uh, like flavor in the, in the food, and you'll notice that when I'm cooking. Okay. Uh, that's, I'll use a lot of so we can pair up onions as well. Yes. I'll add my sauce because for the you can't add the the, 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 the vegetables. You don't want them to overcook. So okay. you have to cook the rest of the sauce and then and then you add, add them later. Okay. Yes. So what she did was this was a pre prep spaghetti sauce. So you yeah, can, can we use any, any any of your favorite any of your favorite spaghetti okay. sauce you can. You can use. Okay, use any of your favorite pasta sauce. You can do that, and of course, for those of you who do homemade pasta sauce, great. Wow, there we go. All right, there you go. Our sauce. Okay, and that's getting ready. And I can see, and the, the one thing that 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 I like about this, I think, the surface area of this pot is wide enough that usually when we do pasta sauce with the others you'll notice that it just bubbles in and splatters all over the kitchen and your whole stove so this surface area and the even cooking of this pot is amazing so it's not splattering it's just basically self-simmering i guess <laughs> i don't know if, if that's the thing i guess we came up with a new thing self-simmering self <laughs> yeah so yeah. there's no spillover we still have a clean surface area Yes, and your 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 oh, your cooktop is clean. Mm -hmm. Once you have this, it's hard yeah. to you don't need to cook on the cooktop all the time. So most of the time, I get myself using this like the whole oh. week when I'm preparing my food. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to add my um, zucchini spaghetti. one of my favorite vegetables so oh wow so this is another way I'm gonna cook the zucchini so to all the vegetarians out there this is a perfect meal yep no excuse when you're done with getting uh, tofu and <laughs> soy this is the best that you can eat to substitute. Mm -hmm. And this, you can, you can, you know, we always say we're not gonna eat spaghetti a lot because of all the carbs and stuff. This is vegetables, mm -hmm. so. I'm saying the vegetables, they really shrink, not mm -hmm. shrink per se, but they, they mix up pretty well because again of the surface area and you're able Just, to to mix everything yeah, well. To navigate, okay. Yeah. And 
nothing is sticking <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> so unlike our spaghetti pots and everything, no, we have no stick at the bottom. So we're not gonna lose anything. So after this, do we cover it all or we just cover it? Yeah, I'll it just cover it for a few okay. minutes. Okay. Since I've, I've mixed it up, so I'll cover it for a few minutes. Like just five minutes for it to to soak in the the sauce. Oh, amazing. amazing! We are done with the spaghetti. Hey! Once we are done cooking our zucchini squash spaghetti, mm -hmm. we are going to go right into making our cleansing juice. We'll do. Uh, it's consisting of cabbage, uh -huh. carrots, and some ginger. Nice. That's all the ingredients for uh, the juice today. Very simple looking. Of course, all vegetables are pre washed and cut. So I can actually see the green, the cabbage. The cabbage yeah, and there's a time the cabbage. There was a cabbage craze. There was a diet. I think it was like, what was it? Boiled cabbage or steam? You boil it yes. every day. So this one's basically uh, straight, yeah, and tampered with all the vitamins and everything. Yes. So next, I'm going to do my carrots. We have better eyesight after this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and your skin will actually be clear and your 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 will be cleansed from inside out. Alright, so here goes the bright orange. And it gives a wonderful, wonderful color. And really you don't, because it mixes up well basically when this juicer does, so if you just give it a little shake, it blends your colors. And there you got it. All right, our spaghetti is uh, done and ready to be put on the table. We just finished uh, doing our juice, so I hope you will enjoy the meal for today. See you next time for our next episode. If you enjoyed this vegetarian friendly recipe, we want to remind you that good things are meant to be shared. So do share this video with your friends and family and remember to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to contact us at either the number or email below and tune in next Tuesday for another delicious episode. As always, thanks for watching.